When will the machines take over? When will machines become smarter than us? Well, the answer was quite interesting. When will this take place? One day, a robot will wake up, wake up in the laboratory, look around, and say, I am aware. I'm just as smart as you. In fact, I could be even smarter if I put a few more chips in my brain. Is your iPhone listening in on your personal conversations? That's what some people are reporting online. Strange coincidences in which what they were just talking about shows up on suggested searches or on their social media. Your Android phones and iPhones are all listening to you. Um, everything that you say and do in your homes without your permission. Now, what you need to do is go to settings, click on your settings there. This is for an Android phone, obviously. We were just talking about babysitting, obviously, because we're going to be babysitting tonight. And then Joanna showed me this. A suggested page on Joanna's Facebook, fans of babysitting. How screwed up is that? So a lot of people are pretty freaked out about this item from Facebook, where they can listen in on your conversations, basically looking for buzzwords and things that you're saying. People want to know how they can disable the microphone on their phone. Have you ever been talking to somebody about something and then all of a sudden you go to Facebook to scroll through your ex's profile, maybe this is just me, <laughs> and you see yeah. an ad for that very item. Has that ever happened to you? I've been hearing for a while now that Facebook and Instagram are actively listening to your real life conversations using these smartphone apps on your phone and then serving you hyper targeted ads. It seems like it essentially turns the microphone on your phone or tablet um, and gives that access to Facebook that they could listen to and record your conversations or any of the audio audio in your environment. Are you asking, did I wiretap Donald Trump? Of course. I did it. <laughs> I did it throughout the election process and I did it again before leaving the White House. Yeah. I love wiretap. As far as uh, wiretapping, I guess, by, you know, this past administration, at least we have something in common, perhaps. I wanted to get your opinion about the disclosures that we've learned about the NSA and some of the surveillance that has been done. I mean, first of all, do you think it's a good thing that these disclosures were made? What do you think of Edward Snowden? Oh, it's, I mean, it's a whole really complicated thing. What we're going to do is today, we're just going to talk to the, um, start targeting, uh, saying, saying things to Facebook and just see what happens if they're actually listening in, in or not. All right. Ever notice that you have a conversation with a friend or a family member and suddenly you see advertisements on your phone's Facebook ad or sponsored posts on your Instagram feed? Well, this left us wondering, are our phones eavesdropping on us? And if so, how do you turn the darn thing off? Turns out Google has been recording the things you say when you are around your cell phone. The independent newspaper has revealed that just talking is enough to activate the recordings. Thankfully, though, you can easily listen to them yourself and you can also delete them if you want to. The answer was quite interesting. Among the top people assembled in one place, the answers were anything from 20 years in the future to a thousand years in the future, with some AI experts saying, never. Is your smartphone able to listen in on your personal conversations? Technologically, absolutely. Nobody likes to, nobody likes the idea that somebody could be listening in to on their personal conversations. And then you want to uh, go up to uh, uh, more, click on applications manager, and then you want to scroll down to uh, just go ahead and say Google Play Services because if you delete Google Play Services off your phone, it'll make your phone pretty much unstable. Facebook, you guys are listening to us and that's messed up. I don't know if that's okay, guys. So just a word of advice to everybody, Facebook is listening. They're listening. We just have to accept that. They're listening. Go to your settings app, then scroll down to privacy. Click on that, then go down to your microphone setting and then you can turn off Facebook. Has that ever happened to you? Pretty often, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's happened to like a lot of people. And so there's this suspicion that Facebook is basically mining your conversations. 
I had my doubts about this and then I came across a Reddit thread and there were hundreds of comments of people in agreement that Facebook is definitely listening and targeting you inside their app and Instagram is doing it as well. It's not that surprising um, that some groups are kind of concerned about this. It seems like that's what's happening, but Facebook says, no, that's not how it works. I mean, I wish that the government had been more transparent about this up front. And I mean, this has been the public statement that I've, that I've made on this is I think that the government made a lot of mistakes in terms of not being clear about what they were using information for. Uh, I'll, I'll record me saying some, some things to my phone here and there. Facebook, you're a no good piece of crap. Facebook, nobody likes you. Hey, Facebook, Tom was a better person. Hey, Mark, nobody likes you. So earlier this week, I'm talking to my wife on my personal cell phone. We're talking about having to book a hotel room this weekend up in New Jersey. We're going there for my daughter's dance competition. That's all we did. Talked about it on this phone. Four hours later, checking my Facebook feed on this phone, up pops the exact city, exact hotel we're talking about. Google might well have a record of everything you've said around it for years. Now, the company has quietly kept the records of many of the conversations that people have around its products. Well, this is sort of stunning revelations, but obviously something that they've been doing. It's because of Moore's Law. That computer power doubles every 18 months, and it's a, it's a curve that has held sway for 50 years. If you go back 100 years, back in the time of mechanical hand crank computers, put that into Moore's Law, and you still get a nice fit points to Siri as an example. She can Google search things for you. She can play a song that you want to hear, open an app, send a text message, things like that. So the technology does exist. But is it actually being used to tap into your talks? Just today, I was discussing a bachelor party on the phone with a friend, and the only hotel we discussed was the Encore, which is the Wynn's sister hotel. Right after I got off the phone, I went on Instagram, and I was served this ad. Facebook, you suck. Hey, Facebook, why aren't you as good as MySpace? MySpace was better than Facebook. Facebook, nobody really wants to use you. Burn in hell. My story is just as crazy. I'm talking to my mom about totally random pink flamingos, pink long flamingos. And we have Are you talking on the phone or just... No. Facebook says it will not listen to any of your voice conversations. Also, they said this is all real-time, in-the-cloud action. They are not storing any of these audio recordings. Whatever you look up on your phone, our experts tell us Facebook has access to it. So just be aware of that the next time you're searching online or having a conversation. Siri, are you listening to my personal conversations? Yes, I am listening.